Good morning, believers. I'm back. JD Nija. Um, <laughs> I push out these messages and I sit here and talk with you because it's we are um, we're fellowshipping here. This isn't this isn't a quick devotional message. These are t Bible teaching. So if you're here, um, I'm so proud of um, some of you believers that actually are um, you're in class. You're in class. There's 20 of you that are in class. I mean, um, you don't just pull up my videos here, videos there, because you're going to get something you like out of it. You're actually here to learn, and that's that's awesome. That that gives me a lot of um, a lot of inspiration to keep going. The name of this song is Inspiration. When the right time comes, oh yeah, you'll be drawing inspiration. You do, oh yeah, find motivation. So I'm finding the motivation to teach because the Lord is saying, my people are die for want of knowledge, and some of you really want knowledge and I can see that in the um, the response so thanks believers thanks family thanks Israel um, you're you're understanding deeper things and you're going to be blessed for um, for your diligence and your di discipline your discipleship thanks again um, I hit 101 subscribers Yahoo I'm, I'm a regular YouTube influencer <laughs> oh, funny stuff all right so <clears throat> All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High. Let me pray for everyone. Heavenly Father, uh, just lock you. Um, my voice is still. <coughs> beep, beep, beep. Stupid JD Niger. <laughs> um, Heavenly Father, let me turn this down. Heavenly Father, we come before you. Oh, with praise and honor, we glorify you. Thank you, thank you. We thank you so much for giving us the ability to understand you the best we can. You give us a little more every day. You sanctify us and build us up so that we can be justified before your eyes through your son, Jesus Christ, who came and died once for our sins so that we would have no fear and, and not have to be afraid of what we do on this wicked planet and know that our steps are guided by you. No matter what we do, you'll be there for us. And in the end, we'll see you in your glory and we'll come into your rest. Amen. All right. So, um, good morning. Good morning. JD Nigel, word of truth. Jeff Deloge coming to you from rainy hear the rain rainy and saney Huntington Beach Central Park world famous Huntington Beach California surf city let me make sure I got the right distance here so I'm not so far away doesn't anybody stay in one place anymore? Uh, it would be so fine to see your face at my door. But it doesn't help to know you're so far away. I know I'm not the best singer, but I love to sing. I love to sing. I, I get the, um, I usually get the rhythm right, but my tone is usually off. Uh, welcome. So, <clears throat> the big deception of the hour is this rapture thing. People, you know, I was in the Christian church. I was in Calvary Chapel. I, when I came into um, when I came into my belief system with the um, Christian church, before I realized, the Lord told me, "Dude, you're not, you're." You're Israel. You're one of mine. I was like, oh, wow. No wonder I never really, I had a hard time with the Christian church and the whole, let's all get into the one church and all believe on the same thing. And 
I mean, even back in the day, the, the church movement with all the, there was a big church movement. A lot of people my age, between 50, if you're 58 to 65, there was that time period there in the 70s, late 70s, man, we were all getting high and going to church and getting drunk and going to church and it didn't matter. We were, we were welcome as we were. And so a lot of that whole come as you are mentality got started then. But a lot of people came to Christ during that era and I'm one of them. And um, there was definitely a movement to get that generation, um, our generation, my, my, my generation, baby, um, into, into the into the Christian belief system, the Pentecostal charismatic church. But, um, we were, we were hung up on the, um, rapture thing The left behind series came in. And I don't know how much of that was a, um, Tavistock mind control situation. Um, we know that, um, the same time, the same, our same generation that when we were, when we were children, they decided to take prayer out of church or out of school. Sorry. Um, the government decided to take prayer out of church. We, we didn't, they, they took church away from us. There, there was a time when they knew that they had to start, um, uh, mind controlling us and, um, destroying our belief system. And a lot of you remember if you're my age, I'm going to be 62 in October. Um, that at one point in first grade, we're, we're praying. And then all of a sudden in third grade, we're not. And a lot of you, uh, probably a little bit older than me remember, because I was at that age where I almost forgot that we prayed. I, I was probably only kindergarten, first grade, and then they took it away. That was probably 1967 or something like that. I forget. I, I don't know. I just remember they, we didn't, we stopped praying. Some teachers continued to do it for a while. And I think a lot of them um, lost their jobs or were reprimanded. But anyway, um, back to the rapture thing. Um, so we have this, this pressure against our generation. There's, we're the we're the elders of um, of this end times um, dispensation, and that's why it's interesting that that even this Tony Williams guy, Street Ministers for Christ, and the Alaska guy, um, Dudamus Lodge, whatever. I, I don't I don't. They're my age. They're 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 this generation. So there's a certain push. Um, you look at Gabar, Tahar, these guys from the black Hebrew Israelites, the, um, GMS and Sakari, a lot of those guys are my age also. So there's a, there's a conglomeration of these prophets and false prophets in this age group. So I just wanted to bring that to, to mind when you, um, when you think of, uh, who's out there, who you're listening to. Of course, there's going to be youngsters coming up that have very important things to say, and there's probably going to be more dreams and visions because the Bible says so. Um, anyhow, I'm, I'm not going to get into that right now. We're going to talk about the rapture. And tribulation. So, Matthew, Jesus talks to the disciples in Matthew 24, they, um, signs, signs of the end. I probably should not put on my glasses. It might help, but I'm not going to put on my beads. I found my beads. That was good. They weren't down in my seat. Um, signs of the end. Let's get into this and, and see what Jesus had to say about the end. You, you've heard these, you've heard these scriptures over and over again, but let's, <coughs> God darn it. Ah. Uh. Probably should keep taking that mucus relief because the way this weather is and the way, man, 
something's going on with the with the moistness and the fungal. The the Lord's doing some crazy things right now. But anyway, signs of the end. Uh, Matthew twenty four. Can you believe I can read this? Sixty two year old guy, and it's dark in here. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and the disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. So they they're like. Look, look at how beautiful the temple is, Lord. Have you seen the, the whole outside? You're always on the inside. Come look at the outside and, and listen to what Jesus says. And, and people, people just skim right over this because they don't understand what they're reading. And Jesus said unto them, red letter, the blood is speaking. See ye not that these things, see ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. Right off the bat, he's saying, okay, who, what are we? We're the stones of the temple. We are the building blocks of this temple. Temple. He is the head cornerstone. Just like these, these devils, these Egyptians built the pyramids in the all-seeing eye at the top of your dollar bill. They're trying to say that um, their illumination is the cornerstone. It's nonsense. That's when the Antichrist comes back and builds this new temple that, that's being built as as we speak. They're building their temple. We'll, we're building ours. And it's a kind of a race to see which stone are you going to be? Are you going to be a stone in their fucked up temple and be defamed and, and ashamed? Or are you going to be one of the stones of the true temple that are thrown down not one he says not one not one of these stones is going to stand so what does that tell you off the bat if we're the stones of the temple what did jesus say what he's trying to explain to his disciples is you're all going to get you're all going to get whacked and so these guys that say you're going to get raptured up and you're going to be a stone in the temple every stone is going to be thrown down. He's telling the disciples, this is what that means. And these guys aren't, these guys don't know the Bible. They're like, they're out here teaching people and they're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, Tony, Tony Williams. I can tell you love me. I can tell you know what you're talking about because he talks with authority, but he's not, he doesn't have the right doctrine. And I just warned a, a woman that was on there yesterday. She said the right thing. And I went, Wow, there is people out there that understand. I said, thank you, sister. You have the right message. Watch out for this guy. Because if, if you believe that everything he's telling you, you're going to be wandering down the wrong path going, la di da di da and all these people are with you and you're all happy going, yeah, we're all going to heaven. That's the broad path, people. If you're not walking alone, if you're not very alone in this going, man, the only person I trust is J.D. Nyjah, you're probably going down the wrong path. I, I'm just saying, there's not, I'm looking for, I'm looking for pastors. I'm looking for people to tell the truth. No one knows because it's not sent from heaven. The last video, I went into that. This is today. This is the rainy day at the park. There's going to probably be four videos and we're going to, the Lord's going to make something happen today. Today is that day that we're talking about. What does it mean to have someone sent from heaven versus if it wasn't sent from heaven, it's not, it's not, doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean shayit. So right there, right off the bat, he's saying, just know that um, there's not going to be anyone that's not going to be muffed up. And he goes into that some more. I'll read through this quickly because a lot of this stuff, um, I haven't broke down in a way that really, there's, there's things there that I probably am missing and, I, and the Lord is going to show me later. But for now, it just says what it says. And he sat down on the Mount of Olives and the disciples came on to him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be and what shall be the signs of the coming and of the end of the age, end of the world, end of this dispensation, the end of this 3D junkyard, the end of this wicked kingdom, whatever you want to call it the end of the world the end of this era and jesus said in red letter take heed that no man deceive you 
So right off the bat, he's going, don't be deceived by these guys that tell you, oh, yeah, you're going to get out of here. I, I love you enough. I'm. You're not going to have to do anything. Jesus didn't come to get slammed, bammed, whacked, thrashed, bashed so that we can just walk into heaven. No, he he's showing you, follow me. How do you do it? How do you get... How do you get to be a part of the kingdom of heaven? You let this body get bashed, thrashed, trashed. You let everything of this world go. And you say, I, I have faith in my spirit. And that's what these idiots don't want to tell you. It's not, it's not a walk in the park. We're in the park, but I'm not walking. I'm sitting here telling you the truth. And people want to hear the easy, itchy things, but they don't want to hear the, the hard truth is, Jesus is going to say it right here. He's there. They asked him, what, what is it? Let me see if this thing's going. Man, I'm going slow. I'm, I, I want to go slow, though. I want to make sure you get it. Take heed that no man deceive you. Red letter, the blood speaking. Verse 5, uh, Matthew 24. You can read it yourself. Sometimes when you read it yourself, the Lord will sit with you and, and sup with you. But being that we're doing it right here, you 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 should be able to hear me. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. So what's he saying right off the bat? There's going to be a bunch of fucking assholes out here. Assholes! That's what I call them, fucking assholes. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, seeing that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not here. Don't let this bullshit bug you. Don't. Relax. Relax in your spirit. Your body, all that, you could get anxious. You can get um, hives. You can get sick. You can cough up mucus. <laughs> um, relax in your spirit and do the best you can. But just know that this isn't going to last. When we get there, it's going to seem like it was that quick. You could lay on your bed for 10 minutes and it might seem like two, 10 days. Deal with it. It's 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 just the devil fucking with your head. Um, for nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. We're seeing all those things, so that's the only reason he says this. He's like, just know that there's not only in your spirit you're going to know things, and you're going to see things. If you're spiritual, you'll be able to see these assholes. Like I do, I see these assholes, and I pisses me off but i can't let it trouble me too much i gotta just stay with my my family here and with you believers and tell you what the lord is saying he's trying to break it down so you don't get deceived by these assholes um all these things are the beginning of sorrows who is jesus the the man of sorrows it's the beginning of sorrows i'm i'm benjamin my my original name by my mother was benoni I'm going to name him son of my sorrows. Why did she name him son of my sorrows? Because Benjamin understands Jesus. Benjamin's a part of the family. Benjamin understands Jesus. We're first fruits. We're royal, royalty. What's that mean? That means that we're going to serve. That means we're going to be just like Jesus. We're going to give ourselves up to the very end. That doesn't mean we get to we get to walk away and go, ha ha, we're the we're we're GMS, we're the apostles of Great Millstone. You should honor us. No, I honor you. That's what royalty is. Royalty takes care of their people. So when I say I'm royalty, you gotta understand it's not what royalty is on this planet. It's the exact opposite. Benjamin is the man. His name was Son of My Sorrows. Why? Because the Lord's going, you're going to be in sorrow. I know these things. I'm royalty. It's it's not coming without violence, destruction, strength of spirit. Maybe that's why I don't have a thousand, <laughs> seven thousand subscribers. I'm telling the truth. It's not a walk in the park. Anyway, let's let's get through this, and then maybe I can get into it. Another scripture about tribulation so that we can understand. Um, then, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. Does it sound like it's going to be fun? Does it sound like we're going to just walk out of here? 
what did Jesus say to his disciples? He, he's talking to his men. He's talking to his men. He's like, they're going to afflict you. They're going to kill you. Who's his disciples? They're the believers. They're the ones that were appointed to be sent. They were sent onto the people. They were royalty. They were Jesus' royal family. They were sent. And what does the Lord tell them? You're going to be you're afflicted. You're going to be persecuted. They're going to kill you. So, hey, good news. We all get to get killed. You're lucky if you get killed for the Lord's sake. <laughs> Sorry. The truth is a bitch. Not that the Lord's a bitch, but it's not easy stuff. Let me go on. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Love me. Hate me. <laughs> Forget who that is. Love me. I think it's... Yeah, anyway. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Um, yeah, love is waxing cold. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. There you go. Why do I have 101 <laughs> subscribers and they have 7,000 on 80 videos? Because they're rising up and the people are being deceived. But you're not deceived. How's that for blast? I, I've been saying it since I started this channel. That was, that was one of my first um, catchphrases. You're blessed to be here. And I still say it occasionally and I'll probably be saying it more and more because um, you got to know that there's a blessing here this isn't this isn't just joking around this isn't just listening and going oh I'm a Christian I'm gonna get saved I get raptured on Pazzo pre-trib this is the real deal man this is the bloody truth word of truth Bloody. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. What's it say? Endure till the end. But those who endure till the end, what's the end? Whenever the Lord says so. If, if if you get lucky enough to get beamed up out of here before all hell falls on your head, you are in the level of Enoch. You are in the level of Elijah. You are getting transfigured. Maybe me. <laughs> Maybe me. When, when people finally turn to me and I rise... And I say to you, when you see me go up, if you see me go up like this, know that all the blessings that you have are going to be doubled, just like when he told Elisha. If you see me go up the way the way I came down from heaven, you're going to get a double portion. That would be the only reason anyone's going up. They are top of the crop epiphany to somebody. No one's just, no one, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't think so. I think you have to endure to the end. What's, what's Jesus saying? You're going to be killed. You're going to be afflicted. This idiot, Tony Williams is telling people, oh, we're going to get out of here. And these poor people that are going to, Studimus says the same thing. You don't want to be left here. Fuck these guys. Yes, you do. You want to be able to show your spiritual chops. That's where the game gets good. This is this is kids play right now. When you get to put your head in that guillotine, that's that's when you get to show your spiritual chops. Fuck you guys. Cut my head off. I'm out of here. You you are going to stay. 
Those are the ones that are going to stay. These guys that think they're going to just fly out of here and get out of here, they're going to be the ones that are all like, "Oh, I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the for the rapture. I'm not putting my head in that guillotine." Good luck with all that. Um <clears throat> And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. What am I sent to do? Tell you the motherfucking truth. Whether you like me, hate me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not here to be, to be loved. It says in the end, love is going to wax cold. You don't have to love me. You just have to believe me. I, I love you. I I actually love you. Royalty knows love. You can't sorrow unless you have love. Why why is he called the son of my sorrow? Jacob said, no, he's going to be the son of my right hand. Both. The son of sorrow is the son of the right hand. Fuck those Judites that say Benjamin, house of Saul ain't shit. House of Saul is royalty, people. First king of Israel. Anointed. I'll be back. We'll talk some more about the tribulation. I love you, believers. Thanks for subscribing. If you wandered on this, this is basically how I am every day. <clears throat> Teach the Bible. That's what I do. In the rain, shine. It's a it's a Bible teaching. It's a um, we're fellowshipping here. I love you, Israel. I love you, believers. I'll be back.